Wannabe. Often described as the only good co-op game, this simple card game will be a great test of how you and your friends communicate. Here are the stats. Let's get into it. You get 60 Hanabi cards, split into six suits. Blue, green, rainbow, red, white, and yellow. Each of those suits is split into three ones, two twos, two threes, two fours, and one five. You also get eight blue clock tokens to keep track of how much you can communicate, and four black fuse tokens to keep track of how good you even are at setting up fireworks. As a group, you must create a satisfactory firework display and wow your audience before the fuse goes off. We're professional pyrotechnicians here. We gotta set up. Place the blue clock tokens in a pile in the center of the play area. Stack the black fuse tokens in order with the longest fuse on top and the explosion on the bottom. Shuffle the 50 non-rainbow cards into a face-down deck. I'll explain how to use the rainbow cards in advanced play later. Deal the starting hands. Five each for two or three players, four each for four or five players. Keep in mind, at no point in the game will you ever look at your own hand. It will always be facing away from you for the other players to see. Now, we play. Starting with the player with the most colorful clothing and continuing clockwise, each player must take one, and only one, action. They cannot choose to pass. They may give one piece of information. Discard a card, sight unseen, or play a card, sight unseen. Continue like this, over and over, until... When the last card is drawn, the last firework is played, or the last black token is removed, the game shall end, and victory or failure shall be determined. Here's how giving information works. Take one of the blue clock tokens from the table and place it in the box. If there aren't any left, you may not take this action. Now, state, out loud, and point to every card a specific player has that is one specific color or one specific value. All of the cards they have that apply must be pointed to. No leaving some out to give hints. Here's how discarding works. First, state out loud that you are discarding a card. Then, place one card from your hand, face up, into the discard pile. Once you see what it is, you can't take it back. So be careful. Take one card from the deck and add it to your hand, without looking. Take one blue clock token from the box and place it back on the table. If there are no tokens in the box, you may not take this action. Here's how playing a card works. Place the card you want to play onto the table. If it starts, adds to, or completes a firework, good job! All of the fireworks start at one. Go up one at a time to five and remain separated by color. If you complete a firework by playing the five card of that color after the four card, you may place a blue clock token from the box back onto the table. If there isn't a token, you can still play. You just don't get a bonus. If the card you placed didn't start, add to, or finish a firework, you must discard the card instead and place the top black token to the box. Regardless of success, take one card from the deck, sight unseen, and add it to your hand. If the third black token is removed, revealing the explosion, you've all failed. If all of the fireworks are completed, the game ends and everyone wins with a perfect score of 25. If the last card is drawn, each player plays one last time, including the player who drew the last card. After everyone's played, add all of the highest cards of each color to determine the final score. If you're getting bored with the standard game, the developers included a few variants to spice things up. For the first variant, add the rainbow cards to the deck and use it to create a sixth firework. For the second variant, play the same way as the first variant, but with only one of each rainbow number in the deck. For the third variant, add the rainbow cards as a wild suit. When giving information, the rainbow cards count as all colors and must be included when talking about any other color. However, you cannot point out the rainbow cards themselves by color. When playing the rainbow card, they are their own separate firework. For the fourth and final variant, play with all of the cards and keep playing even when the deck runs out. The game only ends when the firework display is perfect, all of the fuses are blown, or a card is discarded that prevents the firework display from being finished. So that's Hanabi. That should cover everything. But if you still have any questions, put them in the comments below. 
If you liked this, please take the time to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell. It would really mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching, everybody.